Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and today we're focusing on the Frozen Witch strategy once again, used mainly at Town Hall 10. And one key uh, thing you need to make sure happens in order for your attacks to be successful. Now, I made kind of a general Frozen Witch overview attack strategy video about a week or two back, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already so you can get up to speed. Um, but kind of branching off that, there's one thing I want to focus on which tends to correlate with the success of this strategy. Um, if you can do this one thing right, then you have a much better chance of being successful. So uh, this first attack was one of mine and uh, it kind of shows this uh, why this is so important and how it can work very nicely. The, the point I want to make is you want to get that wall wrecker as far into the base as you can with a few exceptions, but there's usually a space in the base around the core where that's if you deploy your wall wrecker there, it can basically empty out the rest of the base besides a few outside defenses. In this case, there it is, um, right by the, uh, it can reach the bomb towers, the air defenses, bounce onto the cannons. That is the uh, the nice spot you want to be deploying the wall wrecker. Typically, you want to get it about 60% to 70% through the base. So we're talking not just the core, but even past the core to some extent, uh, trying to get towards the back part of the base with that wall wrecker. And more importantly, perhaps, you want to use that rage and the heal on the bowlers in the wall wrecker. So we're talking traditional... Um, one Rage, One Heal, CC Bowlers. I know there's variations of this strategy, but um, the traditional army comp is where I like to focus on. And um, you want to, to basically get those bowlers towards the back part of the core. And then once it uh, the wall record uh, deploys the bowlers, you Rage and Heal. You might be tempted to, uh, to use the Rage earlier or something. Don't do it. Um, it it's it's not worth it on your witches. It's, it needs to be on the bowlers to get that full value. Um, this next attack uh, is also uh, was a three star and um, Civil Serpent doing the attack here. This base is um, it's a little bit tricky because there's not a great place to deploy your wall wrecker. There's not really a nice core. Um, ideally, you want to get it deployed somewhere uh, right around where the the wizard towers are, where the queen compartment is, somewhere where you can target that expo and get some nice bounces back into the base here. Um, and part of what this means is you got to use your freezes early. Sometimes you see people with three, four freezes up and there's really nothing to use them on because all their troops have died. The freezes should be used early, mainly to preserve your wall wrecker. Um, preserving the witches on the outside can also be a good thing if you can freeze a wizard tower or something. The bowlers in this case got into that inferno compartment. Not ideal because you would want them to be able to target these two buildings. They get bounces onto the expo, the air defense, the bomb tower, maybe even the cannon depending on where they end up. So not the ideal place, but the, uh, the wall record went down quickly. Maybe freezes could have been used a little bit better there. Uh, but this one works out okay. Um, got the minimum distance and uh, the witches were able to take out the rest. So that's what we're going to see. And I think that's if you pay attention to attacks uh, in, in the wars you're involved in, you'll see that the frozen witch attacks that tend to work and tend to uh, just go better overall, the wall wrecker is going to push farther. And as soon as it's, as the bowlers hop out, if they can get pick up some nice value, they can basically clean out the rest of the base besides maybe a few outside defenses, which uh, your witches can take care of. Now, as we fast forward here, one big mistake is people using the rage and the heal too early. Um, I would say as a general rule, you should basically never use it on anything but your CC bowlers because without it, those bowlers will get you very, very little value. They need the rage and the heal. They don't have a tank. Um, they don't have... Uh, there's no, only like five of them in your CC. So really it's not a lot of damage, not a lot of hit points without the extra rage and heal to keep them up and give them that extra damage. So uh, moving along here, uh, this is Black Tiger and I think you can guess which compartment you want to get the uh, wall wrecker into. 
it's going to be this core here because that can reach the infernos, bounce off the storages onto the archer towers, get the queen, of course, um, just all around pretty good value. And uh, that's what you can start to recognize as you, uh, you know, get more experienced in this strategy and identifying bases and stuff like that. There's going to be that compartment that you want to get your your wall wrecker into where it can really pick up that value. So right here, nice freeze on the Inferno. Wall wrecker pushes in. It's in that compartment. Actually, I think it might go a little bit farther, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the wall wrecker actually pushes a little farther, um, which is okay. Uh, the rage and the heal already dropped. I think he was expecting the wall wrecker to go down earlier than it did. So I don't think that was intentional necessarily, but you'll see the bowlers don't really do much when they don't have the rage and the heal, especially with those skelly spells tripping them up a little bit. Um, so it worked out okay. Um, in general, if you see your wall wrecker pushing past, it's not a big deal. You can just kind of hang on to the rage and the heal unless they're going past something that they otherwise would uh, you want taken out. Like if they're skipping an Inferno Tower that other might, otherwise might kind of be detrimental, take out your queen or something, then you might want to deploy early. But you don't necessarily need to um, as long as the wall wrecker is continuing to kind of tank and um, even take out defenses if they're in its path. That's fine. You can let it go past that uh, drop point you have planned out. But the important thing is you get at least to that point. Um, pushing farther, as long as you're not coming at a weird angle and it like goes outside the base or something, you should be okay, like I said, um, to, uh, to hold off and just let it deploy naturally. Uh, the important thing is you save the spells for it uh, so you get the value from those bowlers. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at a few attacks that didn't work out quite as well and talk about why. We'll hop into the uh, little stats here, and I think the first one, let me find it. I believe it was this one. Yeah. Um, this war, by the way, we decided to try something different, and we said, all right, every Town Hall 10 fresh attack is going to be using this Frozen Witch strategy. We've had some trouble at Town Hall 10, and we thought, you know, might as well just see how powerful this strategy is if you just apply it to every base on the fresh hit. You know, cleanup can be whatever, but it actually didn't work out that well. Um, the hit rate was pretty low, so I think it's definitely not a good idea to force this on bases, but it certainly does work on the right base. Now, this one, uh, he does a good job on the freezes, I believe, takes care of the wall wrecker, but there's an early rage. Um, I don't like it. It doesn't really help the witches. There's not, it, it's just, let me pause for a second. There's just not much the rage does for witches. It increases their damage, but they're, they're targeting the lava hound anyway, so it hardly matters. Um, the skellies will run faster, but they don't do much damage anyway. It's just not uh, a valuable thing. The point is you can move slowly with this uh, army comp, but uh, as long as you have the nothing really dying, as long as the witches are staying up, the wall wrecker is continuing to push through, it's okay that you're moving slowly. No need to try to speed things up with the rage there until the bowlers come out. Another thing, the uh, wall wrecker completely off course here. Um, not only are the bowlers not raged, they're also not in that core, which is where they can get the inferno, bomb tower, uh, air sweeper, start to target all these buildings around the core and get those second bounces onto even more defenses. Um, they're in a bad spot. So the wall wrecker had to be deployed a little bit higher up, ideally. I know he probably wanted to avoid the bowlers and the witches kind of wandering into this compartment. But one of the nice things you'll realize about using this army comp is it's okay if the compartment pathing isn't the best. This is not the same as the witch bowler strategy where you have the witches on the outside and the bowlers on the inside um, because the pathing of the compartments in the middle of the base doesn't matter as much. The skeletons can wander around, the heroes even can wander around a little bit. As long as the wall wrecker is getting into that drop point, the bowlers, those level four bowlers with a rage and a heal can take out enemy heroes. They can clean out a core really, really fast. As long as you, you know, freeze and poison the CC, get it taken care of uh, before you drop your your wall wrecker, you can you can uh, be fine with uh, opening up big compartments. So even if, oh, well, that was kind of weird. Uh, even if the, um, the wall wrecker opens this up on its way in, it would be better because that way it ends up in the core. Maybe some troops wander this way, but like I said, as long as things aren't dying, um, it's okay for 
troops to take their time as they come in. The witches respawn stuff. Um, it regenerates your army. So keep that in mind. One more attack. We'll wrap this up. Uh, number, let's see, I think 17, this one here. Um, I believe this one just didn't get that extra layer he needed from the wall wrecker. We'll see exactly what happened here. Um, we have 007 wrecker and uh, using healers on both sides, which is uh, uh, something you can do. Uh, if, if there's not air defense coverage and if you need that extra healing because of wizard tower, stuff like that. So anyway, um, we saw in the first attack, on the my attack that I showed, you can come in at the corner here. Uh, it worked out nicely on, on the attack I showed there. Um, also coming in on the corner here, which I think is fine. A little bit tricky because there's so much uh, defensive stuff. There's a Valk in the CC that kind of goes rogue. So... He doesn't have any witches on the outside. However, I think this attack could have even tripled still, despite not having the witches kind of go around the base, if he gets that wall wrecker into this compartment. But doesn't freeze that top inferno, the wall wrecker gets busted up, and you'll see here, um, the bowlers will step up, take out the queen, they'll take out these buildings, but what needs to go down is they need to be in this compartment here, taking out this defense, this defense, this defense, this defense, getting second balances on all of these, because if they are, what's left up? You know, a few archer towers on the outside, a wizard tower here, uh, the queen will probably get the inferno if he pushes that far. So even without uh, the witches on the outside for the most part, which is typically a pretty big deal, this still could have worked, but you'll see the, the uh, troops finally are going to get through the wall here, but there's nothing left. The bowlers are not long-term troops. They're not going to push through very far. It's basically like you're uh, you're just dropping a bomb on, on one part of the base, and that's all you get from your bowlers in the CC. You get that one spot they deploy with the rage and the heal, and as soon as they leave that spell area and have to push into another compartment, they're almost useless. So uh, he got the value in this compartment, not in this compartment. And uh, that's why this attack didn't work, along with a bunch of witches dying over here and stuff like that. But um, that was the main reason I thought that it wasn't uh, salvaged. So anyway, hope this video helped. Like I said, the main point is that wall wrecker, you got to push it into that critical compartment. Uh, rage and heal, get the value from the bowlers, and the base should be toast. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bisect the Tron out.